In the early 1970s, casting directors faced an exciting task in finding the perfect cast for the new detective series, Banachek. George Papar, known for his role in Breakfast at Tiffany's, was a natural choice for the lead, Thomas Banachek. His charisma and experience in the industry made him an ideal fit for the role of a sophisticated and independent investigator. For the part of Banachek's love interest, Carly, the producers chose Christine Belford. Her previous work in television, including a role in the series The Bold Ones, showcased her talent and versatility. The chemistry between Papar and Belford was undeniable, making their on-screen relationship one of the highlights of the show. To portray Banachek's friend and police contact, Lieutenant Felix Drebin, the creators selected Ralph Manza. Manza's extensive background in theater and film made him a valuable addition to the cast. His character's rapport with Banachek provided both humor and depth to the series. The supporting cast included a variety of talented actors, each bringing their unique skills to the show. Among them were Murray Matheson as Jay Drury, Meg Foster as Anne, and Lincoln Kilpatrick as Catley. These actors, along with the rest of the ensemble, contributed to the success of this classic series. During the audition process, the casting directors looked for actors who could embody the spirit of the characters while also showcasing their individual talents. Chemistry tests between potential cast members helped the creators determine which actors would work best together. Pivotal moments in the casting process included Papar's initial audition, which solidified his role as Banachek, and the chemistry test between Papar and Belford, which convinced the producers they had found the perfect leading lady. In the end, the cast of Banachek proved to be a perfect blend of talent, chemistry, and experience, contributing to the show's enduring popularity and success. The 1972 TV series Banachek, directed by Richard A. Kala, is a classic example of fine television direction. Kala's approach to bringing the story to life was characterized by his attention to detail and his ability to create a unique atmosphere for each episode. Kala's creative influences were diverse, ranging from classic film noir to contemporary detective shows. He was known for his use of unconventional camera angles and lighting to create a sense of tension and drama. This approach was particularly effective in Banachek, where Kala's direction helped to establish the show's distinctive style and tone. Kala's collaboration with the cast and crew was also noteworthy. He had a reputation for being a hands-on director, working closely with actors to help them develop their characters and with crew members to ensure that every aspect of the production was of the highest quality. One of Kaylee's key collaborators on Banachek was George Eckstein, the show's producer and frequent writer. Together, they crafted a series that was both intelligent and entertaining with a unique blend of humor, suspense, and style. In terms of visual style, Kala favored a muted color palette with a focus on earth tones and dark shadows. This approach helped to create a sense of mystery and intrigue and it was particularly effective in the show's many nighttime scenes. Kala's direction also made excellent use of the show's Boston setting. He often used location shots to establish a sense of place, and he was skilled at capturing the city's unique blend of history, culture, and architecture. In summary, Richard Akola's direction of Banachek was a key factor in the show's success. His attention to detail, creative influences, and collaborative approach helped to establish the show's distinctive style and tone and his use of unconventional camera angles, lighting, and color palettes contributed to the show's enduring appeal. Banachek is a 1972 TV series that follows the story of a freelance insurance investigator named Thomas Banachek. He's known for his ability to solve complex cases that others can't. The show is full of surprising twists and turns that will keep you on the edge of your seat. One of my favorite actors in this series is George Papar, who plays Banachek. His portrayal of the confident, and clever investigator is both entertaining and engaging. As for a particular scene that has left a lasting impact on me, there's a moment in the episode No Way to Treat a Body where Banachek is trying to solve a case involving a missing racehorse. The scene where he finally figures out what happened is both shocking and satisfying. Now, we'd love to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic TV series? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. In the 1972 TV series, Banachek, the set design played a significant role in creating the show's distinctive atmosphere. The producers chose a rich color palette with deep reds and golds to reflect the luxurious world of the insurance investigator, Thomas Banachek. The attention to detail in the set design was remarkable, with each scene carefully crafted to reflect the show's focus on high-end antiques 
and art. The filming locations for Banachek were primarily in Boston, Massachusetts, and the surrounding areas. This choice added to the show's authenticity, as Banachek was known for his love of the city. However, filming in Boston also presented logistical challenges. The show's producers had to navigate the city's busy streets and find locations that could double as the luxurious settings depicted in the show. One innovative technique employed during the production of Banachek was the use of front projection. This technology allowed the show's producers to project pre-filmed backgrounds onto a screen, creating the illusion of a larger set. This technique was particularly useful in scenes where Banachek was shown driving through the city, as it allowed the producers to create the impression of a moving car without the need for expensive location shoots. Despite the challenges of filming in Boston and the use of innovative techniques like front projection, the production of Banachek ran smoothly. The show's producers were able to create a visually striking and engaging series that has endured as a classic of 1970s television. Banachek, a classic television series, first aired in 1972 and quickly gained popularity for its unique storyline and captivating characters. The show's main character, Thomas Banachek, is a freelance insurance investigator known for his ability to solve complex cases that have left traditional investigators stumped. The series is set in Boston, a bustling city that provides an ideal backdrop for the show's intriguing storylines. Each episode follows Banachek as he takes on a new case, often involving high-end thefts or mysterious disappearances. With his sharp intellect and extensive knowledge of human nature, Banachek is always able to unravel the most complex of mysteries. One of the things that sets Banachek apart from other television shows of the time is its focus on character development. Throughout the series, viewers get to know Banachek not just as an investigator, but as a well-rounded individual with his own unique interests and quirks. He is a man of many talents, with a love for fine cigars, fast cars, and classical music. Despite his many accomplishments, Banachek remains a humble and down-to-earth character. He is always willing to lend a helping hand to those in need, and his kindness and generosity are evident in every episode. The show's writing is another standout feature. The dialogue is sharp and witty, with Banachek often delivering memorable one-liners that leave viewers laughing out loud. The show's writers also did an excellent job of incorporating social commentary into the storylines, addressing issues such as gender inequality and social class in a thoughtful and nuanced way. Overall, Banachek is a timeless classic that continues to captivate audiences today. Its unique blend of mystery, character development, and social commentary make it a must-watch for fans of television history. In the 1972 TV series Banachek, music played a crucial role in complementing the narrative and emotional tone. The show's composers, Dominic Frontier and Billy Goldenberg, created a score that perfectly captured the essence of this classic detective series. Frontier, an accomplished composer, had previously worked on television shows like The Outer Limits and The Fugitive. He brought his expertise in creating suspenseful and thrilling music to Banachek. Frontier's score was characterized by its use of brass and percussion, which added a sense of urgency and excitement to the show's action sequences. On the other hand, Goldenberg, who was known for his work on shows like Columbo and McCloud, contributed to the series' more introspective moments. His music was often softer and more melodic, providing a stark contrast to Frontier's score. This contrast helped to highlight the emotional depth of the characters and the complexity of the storylines. The soundtrack for Banachek was also notable for its inclusion of jazz music. The show's protagonist, Thomas Banachek, was a Polish American insurance investigator with a love for jazz. As a result, the series often featured jazz performances, which added to the show's unique atmosphere. The composers and musicians involved in creating the music for Banachek were deeply committed to their work. They understood that the music needed to complement the narrative and emotional tone of the show and they worked tirelessly to ensure that their compositions did just that. Frontier, for example, would often watch episodes of the show multiple times to get a sense of the pacing and the emotional beats. He would then compose music that mirrored those beats, creating a score that was tightly integrated with the show's narrative. Similarly, Goldenberg would spend hours experimenting with different instruments and melodies to find the perfect musical accompaniment for each scene. He believed that the music should enhance the viewer's emotional experience, and he was committed to creating compositions that did just that. In the end, the music for Banachek was a testament to the power of collaboration. 
The composers and musicians worked closely with the show's creators to ensure that the music perfectly complemented the narrative and emotional tone of the series. The result was a soundtrack that resonated with viewers and added to the show's enduring appeal. In the 1972 television series Banachek, a shocking event occurred that left a lasting impact on the cast and crew. A tragic accident took place during the filming of the show's second season, resulting in the death of a stuntman. The incident was a stark reminder of the risks and dangers involved in the production of action-packed television shows. The show must go on, but the memory of this sad event remains a part of Banachek's history. The series continued to be a source of entertainment, but the tragic accident served as a sobering reminder of the human cost of producing television. In the second episode of this classic, No Sign of the Cross, Banachek investigates the theft of a priceless religious artifact. The scene that stands out is when Banachek confronts the thief in a dark, abandoned warehouse. The dimly lit space, filled with shadows and eerie silence, adds to the tension. The thief, with their face hidden in the shadows, adds to the mystery. Banachek's calm and confident demeanor, contrasted with the thief's nervousness, makes for a compelling performance. George Papar, who plays Banachek, recalls this scene as one of his favorites. He praised the director for creating a tense and atmospheric scene and the cinematographer for using light and shadow to enhance the mood. Papar himself delivered a standout performance, capturing Banachek's intelligence and wit. This iconic scene has had a lasting impact on audiences. Its suspenseful and thrilling nature keeps viewers on the edge of their seats. The scene also showcases Banachek's skills as an investigator, making it a pivotal moment in the series. In the final episode of the first season, if Max is so smart, why doesn't he tell us where he is? Banachek must find a missing racehorse. The scene that stands out is when Banachek discovers the horse in a seemingly ordinary stable. The camera work in this scene is exceptional, using close-ups to capture Banachek's reactions and wide shots to showcase the stable's vastness. Director Richard A. Kala notes the importance of using the camera to tell the story. He states, the camera is an extension of Banachek's eyes and mind. It's important to use it to capture his thought process and reactions. Kala's direction, combined with the excellent camera work, makes for a memorable and iconic scene. These iconic scenes from Banachek are a testament to the show's quality and enduring appeal. The excellent direction, performance, and cinematography create moments that resonate with audiences and leave a lasting impact. Banachek, the 1972 TV series, was a detective show that captured audiences with its unique blend of mystery and charm. The film's main character, a Polish-American insurance investigator named Thomas Banachek, became a popular figure in pop culture. Played by George Papar, Banachek was known for his wit, style, and intelligence. Set in Boston, the series explored various themes that resonated with viewers. It delved into the world of high-stakes insurance claims, showcasing Banachek's ability to solve complex cases. The show also highlighted the cultural diversity of Boston, featuring various ethnic communities and their unique traditions. Banachek was not just a detective series, it was also a reflection of the social and cultural changes happening in the 1970s. The show touched on issues such as gender equality with strong female characters in key roles. It also portrayed a positive image of Polish Americans, challenging stereotypes and promoting cultural understanding. The series' influence extended beyond its initial run. It inspired other detective shows and became a classic in its genre. The character of Banachek remains a memorable figure with his polished demeanor and sharp intellect. In essence, Banachek was more than just a TV series. It was a reflection of its time, a contribution to pop culture, and a testament to the power of storytelling. The show's enduring appeal is a testament to its quality and relevance, making it a classic that continues to captivate audiences today. Banachek, the 1972 TV series, received positive reviews from critics and audiences alike. The show's lead actor, George Papar, was praised for his portrayal of the main character, an insurance investigator named Thomas Banachek. The New York Times described Papar's performance as smooth and engaging. The series was also noted for its unique format, with each episode featuring a self-contained story. This allowed the show to explore a variety of themes and settings, keeping viewers engaged and interested. The Los Angeles Times called Banachek a pleasant surprise, highlighting its clever plots and sharp writing. In addition to its positive reviews, Banachek was also nominated for several awards. George Papar received an Emmy nomination for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series, 
and the show was nominated for a Golden Globe for Best Television Series Drama. While the show did not win either award, these nominations were a testament to the quality of the series and the talent of those involved. The accolades received by Banachek were well deserved, as the show was a true classic of 1970s television. Its positive reception has endured over the years, with many viewers continuing to enjoy its clever plots and engaging performances. The show's legacy is a testament to the hard work and dedication of everyone involved, from the writers and producers to the cast and crew. George Papar, known for his role in the classic film Breakfast at Tiffany's, took on the lead in this 1972 TV series, Banachek. The show revolved around his character, Thomas Banachek, a freelance insurance investigator known for his ability to solve complex cases. Behind the scenes, Papar was known for his professionalism and dedication. He would often arrive early to prepare for his scenes and was always ready to rehearse. His co-star, Ralph Manza, who played the role of Jay Drury, once shared an anecdote about Papar's preparedness. According to Manza, Papar would always carry a small notebook with him, filled with notes and reminders about his character's backstory and motivations. The show's production team was also a mix of seasoned veterans and newcomers. The show's creator, Lawrence Marks, was a well-known writer and producer, having previously worked on shows like The Fugitive and Columbo. However, for many of the crew members, Banachek was their first major television production. Despite the mix of experience levels, the team worked well together, with the more experienced members often mentoring the newer ones. One of the most challenging aspects of filming Banachek was the show's complex and intricate storylines. Each episode featured a new case for Banachek to solve, and the scripts were often filled with twists and turns. To help the actors prepare, the show's writers would provide them with detailed breakdowns of their characters' motivations and actions. This helped the actors, especially Papar, to fully immerse themselves in their roles. Despite the challenges, the cast and crew of Banachek look back on their time on the show with fondness. The show's unique blend of mystery and drama, combined with its memorable characters, has made it a classic in the world of television. And for the people who were part of its creation, Banachek will always hold a special place in their hearts. Banachek, the 1972 TV series, stands out as a classic in the realm of detective shows. Starring George Papar as Thomas Banachek, an independent insurance investigator, the show was known for its intriguing storylines and unique take on the genre. Set in Boston, the series showcased a bustling city landscape, with each episode focusing on a specific case that Banachek would solve. His unconventional methods and sharp intellect set him apart from other detectives of the time, making the show a testament to the power of individuality and ingenuity. Banachek's influence can be seen in many subsequent detective shows and films. Its focus on high-end theft and complex schemes paved the way for shows like Mission Impossible and White Collar. The show's unique blend of drama, mystery, and humor also resonated with audiences, making it a beloved classic that continues to be cherished by fans today. The series' impact transcended the small screen, inspiring a generation of filmmakers and writers to explore new and innovative storytelling techniques. Its enduring legacy is a testament to the power of great storytelling and the enduring appeal of a captivating detective series. In the world of television, Banachek remains a classic example of a show that has left an indelible mark on the industry. Its influence can still be felt today, as new generations discover this timeless series and are inspired by its unique blend of drama, mystery, and humor. Do you remember the 70s TV series Banachek? This classic detective show, starring George Papar, was known for its intriguing plots and unique take on the crime genre. The show followed the adventures of Thomas Banachek, a freelance insurance investigator known for his ability to solve complex cases. Did you have a favorite episode of Banachek? Maybe you were captivated by the episode where Banachek solved the case of the missing racehorse, or perhaps you found the episode about the stolen art collection particularly intriguing. No matter which episode was your favorite, there's no denying that Banachek left a mark on the world of television. The show's unique blend of mystery and drama made it a standout in its time, and its influence can still be seen in modern detective shows today. So, tell us, what do you remember about Banachek? Did you watch it when it first aired, or did you discover it later on? How did this classic TV series impact you personally, or influence your perspective on cinema? We'd love to hear your thoughts and memories about Banachek. So, please share your experiences with us, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more cinematic exploration.